Go on. Tell her. Leave him, Mark. He's just telling lies, causing trouble. I saw you with her at the stud. For God's sake, what is going on? N nothing. Tell him, Dad, nothing's going on. I'm sorry, Ollie. I've been having an affair. It's, it, it's finished. It's been over for ages. You liar. All right, Mark, you've said enough. Who is it? Tara. Who? Tara. Well, this is a wind-up, yeah? Some kind of joke. Tara. But you hate her. Tara. Polly. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have seen that. I don't apologise. You haven't done anything wrong. I deserved it. Yeah, and more. Look, Angie, I swear it's finished. Why should she believe you? Dad. I thought Mark was lying. How could you do it? I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry it happened, and I'm sorry that you two had to find out about it. Yeah. And if we hadn't, you'd have carried on, wouldn't you? Look, Mark, I know you're upset, but you're dealing with things that you don't understand. Don't talk to me like that! I'm not a kid! Angie, please, will you just hear me out? You don't owe him anything. Shut up! All right, that's enough! All right, go on, Mark, leave us. I'm not leaving you with him. I'll be all right, honest. I hate you. I thought you loved my mum. I do. <laughs> Funny way of showing it. I don't know what to say, love. I'm sorry. You've already said that. Go on, Ollie. And you think I'm a stupid kid? If they weren't here, I'd kill you. I know how you must be feeling. No, Sean. You have no idea how I feel. I feel sick, I feel humiliated, and I feel used. I meant what I said. It's been over for weeks. Then why, Sean? Why? I don't know! Not good enough. She knew I hated everything she stood for. She was taunting me. It's like she was saying, oh, I know you hate me given half the chance you'd have me. I, I was curious. I'd never been unfaithful before. I, I began to wonder what it felt like. She made it clear that she was available. And you just couldn't resist? No, I couldn't resist. You had to prove to her that you were good enough for her. I'm not proud of myself. So when did it start? Love, does it matter? It's only going to hurt you even more. Yeah, it matters. I don't know the exact date. A couple of months ago, in November, there was an evening do up at Oakwell. Afterwards. She offered herself with a brandy and mints. Something like that. And you just stood there and let it happen? It's the way it was. No, Sean, sure, no. Things like that don't just happen. Not out of the blue. We've been seeing a lot of each other at the stud farm. Well, you know what it's like when, when people are close to each other every day. So who did the chasing? She's attractive, all right. I've never met anyone like her before. She's, she just doesn't give a toss about anything. I'd never have that luxury. But, but I didn't go looking for an affair, honest to God. Go on. Well, that night, I, uh, I had to take some quotes over for, uh, for some of Tara's guests. When I got there, she was getting ready. She had this dress on. Angie, please. 
She had this dress on. She made me zip it up. She looks sexy. <laughs> she knew it. She, she was teasing me. Then she asked me to stay. I knew I shouldn't, but you were on nights. And... All through the evening, she was flirting with me one minute and taunting me the next. It made me mad. I got angry. I waited till the others had left. I, I was going to tell her exactly what I thought of her. But when we were on our own, Yes. Yes, I wanted her. I really wanted her. But as soon as it was over, I hated myself for it. And I never wanted it to happen again. But it did. Love, I was wrong. I know I was wrong. I I'm not making excuses, but... Well, maybe it was bound to happen one day. Could have been you. Yeah, yeah, it could. You said you'd been tempted, remember? Yeah, and do you know why I told you, Sean? Because I thought I was putting our marriage at risk just by thinking about being unfaithful, but I'd said no, Sean. I had said no! All those times that you came home late from work cursing Tara, you'd been with her, hadn't you? Yeah. She has been laughing at me, Sean, rubbing my nose in it. Christmas presents, asking for my advice on security. When we were at Marlon's and she was there, it was going on then, wasn't it? Was it? Yes. So when did it finish? I've never loved her. I've never felt anything for her. I just love you. When? Look, look being with her, it's not like you and me. Things are still good between us. Last Friday, remember, when you were making the bed? That is as good as it's ever been. It was fantastic, Angie, admit it. When, Sean? It was that day. That day you told me you'd been tempted to have an affair. Yeah. You've been with her. I went to tell her it was over because of you. And then I came home and you... I couldn't tell you, not then. <laughs> Angie! Angie! Do not touch me, Sean! Mark. What? Do you know Mum's just walked out the front door? Yeah, what took her so long? What happens if she's gone for good? Yeah, well, I won't blame her after what he's done. Oh, you want them to split up, do you? Yeah, well, if they do, it won't be my fault. You had no right to interfere. What they get up to is none of our business. What, you think it's OK for Dad to go around sleeping with other women? They've been together for 20 years, Mark! All right. But it wasn't me who slept with Tara. No, you just wish you had. Get stuffed. Where are you going? To find my mum. Mum? Mum? I thought you'd gone. I got as far as here. I don't want you to go. To think we moved here for a better life. It's been OK. It's one of those decisions that really matters. Where you live, like... what job you do. Who you marry. I was sure I'd got that one right. Go back inside and talk to him. I don't like what he's got to say, Ollie. But you don't regret marrying him. <laughs> Not a good time to ask. <laughs> Not gonna leave, are you? Mum? I don't know, Ollie.
I thought you'd gone. I thought you'd left me. I won't go without packing a bag. You came back. Must mean something. I was thinking about Ollie's feelings, not yours. Love, I, I should have told you the truth, but I couldn't. I wanted to. But when you said what you did, I just couldn't. Do you know why I was honest with you, Sean? Because I loved you. And I wanted us to stay together. And you came from her bed and watched me spill my guts out and take all the blame for everything that was going wrong with our marriage. I felt so guilty. And you stood there while I asked you to forgive me. And you said nothing, Sean. You said nothing. Because I was weak and I was scared and I didn't want to lose you. Yeah, well, I should have done what you did. Had an affair and kept quiet about it. You wouldn't have done that. <laughs> sure of that, are you? You're stronger than I am. But what if I had, Sean? How would you feel if it was me standing here telling you who I'd been sleeping with? Would you put your arm round me and tell me you forgave me? Hmm. Exactly. Angie. Angie, I am not going to give you up without a fight. I can't let you go. All the best moments in my life have been spent with you. Don't bother, Sean. I'm really not in the mood for a trip down memory lane. I am just trying to remind you what we've shared together, that's all. I know what you're trying to do, Sean, but it won't work. Oh, don't keep pushing me away, please. This doesn't have to destroy our marriage. Other people have affairs and they, they get over them. Look, you must feel as if you can never trust me again. You can. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to convince you. I'm really not sure I'm that bothered. All right. You ask me how I'd feel if you had an affair. Okay. It'd tear me apart. I'd be angry. I'd feel betrayed. I can't ever imagine wanting to leave you, no matter what you'd done. Yeah, well, I would have said the same thing this time yesterday. <sighs> OK. So you don't give a damn about the way I feel. What about the kids? Oh. So you've developed a sudden concern for the kids' welfare. How convenient. That is not fair, Angie. I've always loved them. And we have built something. We're a family. Oh, I know they've had their problems and they've caused us a lot of grief. But they've turned out all right, haven't they? Yeah. That must have something to do with the fact that we've stayed together. We've always said, if things got bad between us, then it'd be a mistake to stay together for the kids. I still believe that. It's just I don't believe things are so bad that we have to split up. <laughs> yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? <sighs> I've never stopped loving you, Angie. And in spite of everything, I don't believe you've ever stopped loving me. Yeah, I know you don't want me going on about the past. But when we were kids, when we started going out together, we knew that we would be together for the rest of our lives. Oh, right. I mean, it was just a teenage romance. They're not meant to last. Well, ours did. And we have never just gone through the motions. We have kept it alive. What were we saying the other day? How well we've done to get this far. <laughs> Planning that trip for Valentine's Day. 
That is not a dead marriage, Angie. That's not a love gone cold. Love, I, I just need some time to put things right. Look, don't leave me. It would just tear me apart. Please, love, just give me another chance. Please. Oh, I don't know, Sean. I don't know. I just need some time to think. All right? Same question. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I would have found out sooner or later. Besides, you can be expected to keep a secret like that. What's going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. But however things turn out, I promise you, make sure you and Ollie are okay. I thought this had happened to you and Dad. No, neither. Come in. It's you. Just, uh, I just wondered how you were. And what do you care? Oh, stop blaming me, will you? I had to say something. It's not cause of Tara. It's cause of Dad. Suppose I suppose I always used to look up to him. <laughs> no, you never. I did. All right, we had rows and stuff, but I respected him. Do you know what I've been thinking about? About all them saddles that come in school on a Monday morning, and they spent the weekends with the dads. And they've been to the stupid pictures and had a stupid burger and stupid chips and that's made everything all right. You think I want that any more than you do? Yeah, well, you should have thought about that before, shouldn't you? It might not happen. Fancy a glass of wine? This is her perfume, isn't it? You mean the one she bought for you? No, I mean the one she wears. It was another game. Another way for her to get at me. So, the other night when, according to you, it was as good as it has ever been, I smell of her. Is that what you call getting the best of both worlds? For God's sake, Angie, I wasn't thinking about her. Hard not to, I'd have thought. I could never afford perfume like this. Throw the damn thing away! It's just perfume! If I hadn't guessed about this, you wouldn't have told me, would you? I don't know. It's not important. What other things aren't you telling me, Sean? What other little secrets are you keeping from me? Nothing. Thing is, I don't believe you. If Mark hadn't have seen you and Tara together, you would never have told me about the affair, would you? I've never had any illusions about you, Sean. I've always known you can be stubborn, bad-tempered, and a total pain in the neck, but I always thought I could trust you. I thought I knew everything about you. I always knew when you'd been lying. But, but you have learned how to deceive me, and that hurts almost as much as knowing that you've been sleeping with Tara. How can I ever believe anything you ever say to me again? You're right, Sean. I don't trust you anymore. 20 years together and still in love, but you have destroyed that. It's gone and we'll never get it back. 
Now we're just like every other couple. Predictable, deceitful, tarnished. And that is all down to you. Our lives have changed, Sean, forever. It doesn't have to be the end. Uh, uh, when I'm interviewing some piece of scum down at the station, somebody who's uh, beaten up an old lady or abused a young kid or something, and inside I'm screaming and I'm hurting, but I can't say anything. I just have to do my job. That's the kind of contempt I feel for you now. You have smashed up everything I ever thought I could rely on, and you stand there like it's just another Friday night tip and we can sort it out with a bottle of wine and a bit of passion on the living room floor. I'm not trying to do that. I don't know what to do. I, I've, I've lost my bearings. We both have. I can't forgive you, Sean. Not now, maybe never. It hurts too much. <laughs> Where do we go from here? I don't know about the future anymore. But I know that when I wake up tomorrow, I, I do not want to see you lying in bed next to me. When I come downstairs, I don't want to see you in the kitchen making tea and toast and pretending that it's just another normal day because it won't be. Not tomorrow or the day after or the day after that. I don't know if I ever want to see you again, Sean. What? Get out. Angie? Get 